Kenan, Kenan Brom. Kenan Brom. It's not too bad. It's not really that bad. They're just stunt. They just kind of like sit there. Yes. Fran, I wanted you to go like a minute ago. <laughs> it's all good, guys. Getting into the second game here. Kali. That, good of band. Kali bands are just really good right now. I don't understand that Chase Band's alright. In all honesty, like, when I get into a ranked game, I just ban junglers. Cassiopeia. Yeah, uh, Santana, we talked about Cass earlier. But basically, just a TLDR. She's she's strong. She, she's she's strong. Wait, you can barely hear. Why can't you Why can you barely hear? Is be. anybody else having that issue? Is your volume Was low? Is anybody else having that issue? Because I, I haven't... I don't think there's any problems with it at this point. Please don't ban Yasuo. Yasuo is just um. If the other team oh. picks him, you have a fifty-seven percent chance to win. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> those are those are odds I would bet on. The the, the early, last set of early game nerfs that he had just. Mm. I don't like it. Yeah, I was or... doing one v one lessons with the guy the other day, and he was playing Yasuo, and he walked in the lane, he had like five hundred health, and I was like, all right, and I killed him at two. <laughs> Oh, the stream is turned down. People on TC. All right. Cass is good. Try her top lane. She's good into a lot of matchups. Cassio yeah, Cassiopeia, good top lane. Be um, careful. If somebody picks like Jarvan, you're gonna have a bad time. Mm -hmm. I think she could do pretty well with list though. Or cannon, or a lot of picks. Yeah, like ranged AP mages. I played Cassio. Well, I play a lot of brand top. Brand I haven't seen a brand top ever. <laughs> He's the ultimate lane bully. You can build a lot of cool things on him too. Oh man, frown, do it. I want to see it. Yep. Please don't build tier. <laughs> <laughs> I always go tier, but that's just because I'm trying to learn how to play Cassiopeia. <laughs> actually, no. Tier Tier's is actually not okay. tier really. Yeah, no, no. The one thing I've I was thinking is, about another champion. Tier is. I was about to say. I don't think Tier's that bad. But Cassia doesn't scale CDR that well. So Tier's okay. Yeah, you really don't you really don't buy <laughs> You don't buy cooldown on her. You kind of just the thirty and you're you do five and five and masteries, then you get two hundred and fifty poison stacks, and then you get blue buff and you have forty percent forty percent um CDR for the rest of the game. If you can keep a blue. Tier Rylice is actually an okay. Like, champions that can go tier and Rylice. Tier Rylice, up... I've noticed that is, like, great against... I've it's... been... Tier Rylice is good against melees. Yeah. Unless you're going against Zed and then you want to go tier Hourglass. Mm-hmm. But against range mages, you go... Tier... Please don't pick Tarek Jonah. Oh, Tarek Jungle. Tarek for Jungle. Frown. Yeah, he, um... Yeah, no, that's not bad. It's frown. No, I thought it was gonna be it. No, AP it'll be it'll be top lane Tarek. Middle, it, oh, jungle Urga. I jungle. think it's gonna be secret. I think it's secret OP. Secret OP. No, stalker's blade. You won't miss your E. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, then you just picks Lisa. Okay, that's that's fair enough. But I think if they nerf the camps one more time, jungle Urga's gonna be. Good. Oh, nerf the camps! Like I think the camps, camps will get a slight nerf next patch. Raptors or the are patch pretty after. strong still. It happens every season, man. Too many people get salty from dying in the jungle. <laughs> the low yellow people sometimes get broken sharded. <laughs> I broken sharded myself the other day when I played Soraka jungle. That was pretty fun. I mm -hmm. uh, died level two to red buff. Ad was... Soraka jungle. Okay, Viortic. <laughs> Dude, Viortic's plat three. Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah, I know who that is. He's plat three. I watched him stream. He just listens to Spanish music and plays Proxy Singed. <laughs> <laughs> Proxy Singed is like just fun to do. Like you die, but it's just so much fun. Dude, he said like real Viortic things too. Like he would just like die and he'd be like zero five zero and be like team is noob. Gg Elo. Gg I know. <laughs> I, I read his comments on. 
Oh, they're videos. so funny. Man. Those are funny. <laughs> funny to read. My girlfriend linked me a video of uh, a Disney character doing push-ups, and I was looking through the comments and I saw your tick there. I, what did he say? Oh, the Gaston uh, video. Yeah, the Gaston. What did he say? <laughs> oh, he's like, this is why I banned Garen and ranked. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Kaylin, why is Riortic here? And she's like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Alright. Cog John is a really strong lane. I like this pick. Cog John is really good. Cog Son is good too. Cog's good with like not engaged people. He's really good at trading. Trading poke supports he's strong with. Alright, if they pick Thresh, this is gonna be the most like carry centric comp ever. They're gonna be so reliant on Cassio and Cogmo. Yeah, protect the, protect the carries. But Cassio and Kog'Maw are probably like two of the highest, if not the highest damage at their positions. Mm -hmm. So they're... It'll come down to the skill of the Cassio, Cassio and Kog'Maw. hyper carry late game is going to be interesting to see. I'm wondering where people will go, though. I'm assuming Lee Sin Jungle, Jana mid. Or Jana top, or... Oh, please no, don't be Thresh. If, if this top is Thresh. If this is top lane Thresh, your comp is bad. <laughs> yeah. It was John in solo lane, it's not as bad. Spork pulling out the, the victor, of course. It doesn't surprise me. Who's mid Cassio? I, I really don't know that matchup. I'm not going to um, pretend to know Victor Cassio. <laughs> Cassio, it's, it's going to be Zillion mid. Oh, Zillion's? When he got nerfed, his win rate at support stayed okay. His win rate mid is bad. He's He is bad mid. His passive is useless. His passive is really useless. And he doesn't have time to scale. Bot lane, he has a 625 auto attack. Which, like, auto attack range on support is kind of a big deal. Mm -hmm. But mid lane, it's, he's just going to throw Annie's, clocks at you. Is any 625? Oh, no. Yeah, no. Sorry, Zillion's 625. Annie is 625 as well. They're the same. I thought, okay. Zillion might be 600. I don't know. They're, he's really high. He Zill is, yeah, uh, Zillion's Zyra. I, I think Zillion's Zyra are 600. And then Annie 625. That's so P. PSA, when you're playing Zyra, if you build the Andrews, build Void Staff next and not Death Cap. Mm. The percentage damage on the Andrews is magic, and it scales with Magic Pen, not AP. Yeah. I, I've seen a couple of Zyra's. Pretty much Zyra with the Void Staff is always strong. Mm. Yeah, play over jungle and get Devourer. That's magic damage too. That's what I do on my jungle TF. After I get Wits and Devour, I get Void stuff. Or you juggle TF. Nice. Yeah. Alright, I'll be right back before the next game starts. Alright. I gotta go I gotta go take a leak. <laughs> Spork be the tryhard. What's Spork playing, boys? He plays okay, he pl oh, Spork is a Victor main, so Victor Top. Alright. Yeah, he's playing. Victor top against Victor. Thresh Top. Do you know this matchup? Um, I'll think about it while Don't I'm gone. Because I, I have a general that's... consensus of how I feel about this. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Hold on. Ajax. All right, AD Dash is a good early game, so I think I don't know. It's uh, anytime you pick a champion like Victor or Chogoth or Darius in the top lane, the matchups really rely on jungle pressure. Because like, if you're playing Darius or Victor or something top lane, you might be able to bully out really hard. But if you get ganked, it can swing fast. It's also AD Thresh, though, so. Do, do, do. See, Tarek Caitlyn. Tarek Caitlyn's a pretty bad lane. Um, they're strong together in lane, but you're putting so much pressure on yourself to stomp really hard because they both fall off for a long time. And uh, having two things that fall off like together bot lane is not good. Their comp is also really kind of low in damage mid game. Zillion, Mumu, Caitlyn, Tarek. Like, uh, when you pick a supporting mid like Zillion, you need somebody who can carry hard. And they don't really have that. Whereas like the other team has supporty picks, but they have Cassio and Kogma. Which is better. Who's Farkle man? I don't know who you are. I can't tell you how screwed you are.
Okay, so. Jonna also stomps Tarek. Like, bad. Tarek really has to telegraph what she does. he does. And Jonna shield, and like, Jonna Q deals with Tarek way too easily. If the lane plays out like I think it will, I think Jonna Cog is going to stomp. Even as strong as Caitlyn is. I'm pretty sure Jonna... I, I don't want to say Jonna's the strongest support right now. But she's 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 strong one. And she's easy to play, but she's a crazy ceiling. She's not like Thresh. Thresh is hard, but he's a crazy ceiling. Jana at an elementary level is still good. Unless you're building AP and no boots and uh Alright. When you're playing support, supports pretty much for the most part all of CC and they're where they are because of the base values and the utility on their moves. So you want to use those moves as often as you can. And you really want to make sure you get CDR into your support builds. Some of these builds I've seen, like these last few games, haven't been as CDR-centric. And you should kind of be thinking about, like, loading into the game, how you're going to hit that 40%. Because it's a pretty important number to get. It is. Especially on Taric, Like, 40% more stuns, or, like, Thresh, 40% more hooks and flays and lanterns. Like, that's a lot. It really is. Forty percent CDR thresh is just hooks every like, six seconds. Yeah, if you forty percent CDR too, like every if a team fight lasts, I don't know, X amount of seconds. If somebody zero percent CDR can get five hooks, you can get seven. Mm hmm That's that's a big deal. How do I get in on these games? Um uh, yeah, you can tell. To get in on these games, we generally just say, hey, Battle Arena is at a time. Like, for tonight, it was 7.30. And meet in the in-game chat channel, T-Force. We uh, put the game name and the password in there. The only requirement is that you are level 30 and you are ranked between bronze and gold. We try to keep a nice mix of people but usually we just fill spots and is bronze allowed in battle arena yeah bronze is allowed in battle arena oh, okay if you're up for the challenge mm. but if Brain you are piece. bronze on saturdays we do a bronze boot camp with seagrove and haberdashing and they will be a little bit nice they're usually a little bit nicer than battle rapper guys are so yeah i had to fill in with them secret of last saturday it wasn't too bad it was good see you have noticed a lot about it's, the game yeah he does he's smart it's hard because like everyone thinks they I know stuff about the game but you're pretty good it's hard though in league everyone thinks they know a lot and nobody's gonna say oh, i'm dumb i don't know anything about the game yeah so it's kind of yeah <laughs> they just, they're just gonna be like, hey, I'm it's, dumb. I don't know it's this game. <laughs> online. There's no test to take besides solo queue. And then people will come up Pretty with much. reasons why solo queue didn't work for them. Oh, my, I, I know my mechanics are bad. <laughs> mechanics just don't matter as much in League. Like, people hit Challenger with, like, there's a guy named Nunu with, I mean, Teemo with an alt code. He's Challenger, like, 50 with, like, 130 ping, 20 FPS, and he plays on a touchpad laptop pretty good actually and there are a lot of challengers on the east coast i know a couple of them in the new england area and you play in like 130 ping you can't do that on a shooter or a fighting game because mechanics really really matter in those games uh-huh league is really about choices even forgiven on eu west he's a god he put in greece on like 120 ping and he put 80 carry league is about the it's forgiven a beast though is that yeah no, forgiven? But, yeah okay i couldn't tell you're like Choices really matter yeah. though in league. Mechanics are important, but like when somebody's silver and they tell me having mechanics and I watch their game, the first thing I think about is the choices. The mechanics usually don't stand out as particularly good or bad to me. Mechanics and I just do stupid. <laughs> yeah, no. it's just you just tunnel sometimes, and that's what I've come down to notice. I've one of the best things that I started doing. And I don't know anybody else 
if anybody else has started since I've said something about it, but I started recording my games. It's a good, like a good legit, thing. like yeah. straight up recording them. Not um, a nice little invade. Here. Yeah, it's good. I'm just gonna get a ward down. But I started recording the games from my point of view, so I could see like where my map movements like like where my mouse movements are on the map and if I'm like looking to other lanes and mm -hmm. I don't do that so Caitlyn started traps too Cog and Cog Jana should be harassing this early especially if Tarek walks up for a CS mm -hmm. Caitlyn has the range but he doesn't have the poke potential with that he has with Piltovers so and Jana if you're not playing easy lane you need to start spell these mm -hmm. Top thrush hit two first. He needs to go ham. All right, he didn't. I don't know how top thrush. That's one of the easiest ways to get first blood in ranked games, and like, really, it really is free low until you hit like mid to high gold. Like, just hit two first and go ham. Oh yeah. You'll get so many kills. <laughs> Pretty much. You don't want to shove the lane too much though. Yeah. Even like, if it's one creep though, just creep count. Just creep count. Yeah, if you're one creep down in lane, that's completely fine. Once you get like. Um, I want to say a two. It starts shoving a little bit more heavily in your opponent's favor. Mm -hmm. But if you have like two melees and a caster, and they have two casters and a melee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the ways that um I see it in my games, and I used to do this bot lane, is you leave a caster creep low. And usually caster creeps don't take aggro. So you can leave it low as long as you want and you do it on the second wave and you kind of rush it and just leave it really low mm -hmm. so as soon as the ad carry and support want to hit two the support or the ad just hits that caster he wants in the ding too and then the support can literally stand on top of it and if you're playing like a diamond bot lane the other team will know that you're doing it to them but they have to zone off because they know that caster creep means two yep and you can't do that with melee because the other creeps hit each other but it's some next level stuff. It is some pretty next level stuff. It's a good idea though. That's how you keep your passive up on graves and your accident draven. Caster creeps. Because they don't take aggro and you can leave them up with low health. Mm -hmm. Without pushing line. Right. And this graves realistically if you... Another thing you could do... Oh there's a fight in the jungle over jungle monster but it might get stalker killed. Flash. There's the Q, but I don't think he's going to want to go to Zillion because that's just going to get first blood <laughs> and blue buff over to the Zillion in this mid lane. <laughs> Questionable decision making there. So, a lot of the lessons and like review I do is jungle review. And when you're counter jungling, at the very most in this new jungle, one, it's super risky, two, it's super hard, three, early game, you don't have many wards. Four, best case scenario, he's taken both of his buffs, you're taking a small camp. And you're putting one person behind, like, a third of a level. Yeah, if you it's gank, not worth it to counter jungle anymore. If you gank and you get a good gank off, you put an entire person behind. And you put a person on your team ahead. And um, best case scenario, if you counter gank, you put two people behind. That's so much better than invading. Right. Which invading is why poachers just... is such a bad item right now. Nobody counter jungles anymore. Yeah. Zillion's already six. Five five minutes and forty seconds into the game, he's six. Passive and kill exp. Okay. Yep. Passive and first blood. Uh, we're debating. I don't know if there will be another one after this. Depends how fast it goes. I don't really care. Oh, listen. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Don't have a zillion. Don't like, don't dive a level six zillion with a level five cast and a level four leeson. When you gank a lane, gank assist is an important thing the to think move. about. Oh, the bandage toss misses. Oh, Realistically, this. for that gank, you should have walked up a little bit more. A Mumu, yeah. And gone for the Janna. But they did get the heal out of the Kogma, so. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. But least in ganking mid though. Wait, did they trade? Heal? Okay, they traded heal for exhaust. So. Yeah. I don't. I don't know how I how I feel about that. 
What's the line? Tarek doesn't have exhaust. Tarek doesn't have exhaust. Exhaust is 210 or 240, so likely it's going to be up by the time. Yeah, I think he's up. got the reduced, so it's 186. Let me check. 189, yeah. But Kog'Maw's is 240, so that's kind of... You have like a 40 second, 50 second window in there. Mm -hmm. We have the advantage. And he did heal a couple seconds after the exhaust came out, so... So, as K, you sometimes you really want to push. If you don't have pressure to take tower, it's better to freeze and get a CS lead. The pushing is giving him free CS for no reason. Especially when supports learn to prep minions correctly on tower. They really won't miss, like, any. Yeah. Because realistically, 90% of the CS that you miss underneath the tower... Or, not realistically... Because 90% seems like a high number because people don't know how to take minions under tower as well. They have no heal here. One more hit would kill Janna. Yeah, K just wasted heal. That was a total waste of heal. Cassie was <laughs> coming down though. I like this, this is how you carry games. You roam. They're picking him out though, so that was a good job by the good job by Mad in the mid lane to pay yeah, out no the cast was going down. There was no wards through there. The right arm is stronger than my left arm. Alright. Oh, Stalker. Don't counter jungle, dude. Please. I know it's a moo moo, but you're no boots, Lee Sin. No boots, Lee Sin with Trailblazer, and you're down. Well, two deaths now. I mean, please play Stalker on Lee Sin. Uh, I don't really have to say much more. Stalker by Stalker on Lee Sin. You go, you go Chilling Smite. E or, wait, what's Chilling Smite? Yeah, Stalker's Chil is Stalker's Chilling, is chilling Smite. Smite. That's yeah. Trailblazer. I'm getting these jungle items are so confusing. I remember I just like I like the spirit items. Like I uh, thought I thought the system was perfectly fine, but gotta change it up, I guess. Nice early smite. When you invade or gank, you need to think about where your teammates can give you. And Lee Sen when he invaded there, mid wasn't pushed out, bot wasn't pushed out. Like, I realistically, he's setting himself up for such a poor situation, unless it's, like, perfectly clean. Mm -hmm. Well, you also have to think about it, too. Cassiopeia failed a roam down to the bottom lane. So, he was in transition back, by the, back behind the dragon pit over by his red when he was over by the, the... He was over by red team's blue buff. So, he was half a map away from him and realistically had no help because bot lane was pushed up without mana. As well, so. Boy, what's Lee gonna do? Alright, when you're playing Cassio, if somebody ever walks up to you with half health and lane, and you've ignite up, even if it's Zillion, you might only get ult. Like, that's totally worth it. Hover the smart cast indicator on your ult, and it's a good thing to learn on Sona. Learn what the max ult range is, and if you think you can kill someone and they walk into the very edge of that, just pull the trigger. Yeah. Especially if they're near your tower, you're not gonna get ganked for doing it. Mm hmm. You'll slow him up, you'll get, maybe you can get, like he said, an alt or a flash in that situation. But if the Zillion was smart, he wouldn't, he wouldn't flash unless he ulted, so. I see a lot of Sonos and Cassios, and they need to be on top of people to ult. If you want to play a champion with an ult like that, you really need to learn what the max range of ult is and get used to pulling the trigger at max range. Mm -hmm. Like, right, she could have ulted him. Like, there's a split second there. He would have, he probably would have died. I don't think he could have ulted in time. Maybe barrier. Yeah. But. The barrier probably would have came through, but that might have bought him enough time to get. You pull the trigger. You gotta punish mistakes. There you are a lot of them it. in these Just games. Simple as that. You gotta go for it at times. That's one of the over. easiest ways to get kills. You don't have to like impress your will or carry. You can just wait for mistakes. <laughs> Stalker with the uh, insect in the top lane. Except that was not an insect. That was kind of a just <laughs> come behind him. Drop a ward down, kick him. <laughs> but they managed to get the kill up there. Uh, Lisa needs to get Sison next. If he goes Hydra or something, I, I don't really know what to say. I hate Hydra and Lee. Hydra Lee is alright. I it's... think if he go damage at him, it needs to be Last Whisper. Bloodthirsters. If Blood Bloodthirster Kappa. wasn't so nerfed. It, well, if you buy a Bloodthirst, you might as well just buy a Hydra, but... Less Whisper doesn't fall off, though. Less Whisper never falls off. And it's way cheaper. You don't have a ton of gold in the jungle. Mm-hmm. 
Like, I, I see Brutalizer Lisa in and I just kind of like laugh because his E is magic damage. If you're snowballing really hard, this... That makes sense. I prefer Armor Pen over Lifesteal, so I'm not going to hate on it too bad. Yeah, I, well, I don't, I mean... That's the biggest difference I see in like low end jungle and assassin boats and high end. Mm -hmm. In low end, people really prioritize life steal and hydra stuff. In my high end games, like if there's a Jarvan jungle and he's building damage, like he has three armor pen items and he's one shotting people. He's not screwing around with hydra. He's got like black cleaver brutalizer last whisper. <laughs> Looked at that and I'm like, oh, Whoosh. the dive. Oh, here comes the dive. This is sloppy. Alti, 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 alti. He should have alted Zillion and Cassia. Or, yeah. Alted Zillion and Victor. Oh, nice kick. And the knockback even further. And the exhaust comes through too. It's a dead Kalen. Just... And Slow's gonna land as well. They're gonna be able to change the Slow. Oh, the Q misses. Hmm. But the living are really good to kill, so we go back and... Okay. So we need right. to go back and save Lee Sin there. This is hardish to do in Lee Sin, but it's something that's good to practice. If you have smite up, and there's a Q between you and them, just... I mean, creep between you and them, smite just the minion. smite yeah. the minion and Q. If he would have smited that minion and Q, it would have been free. Did he have smite up? I thought yes. it was down for the top. Okay. Yeah, especially with Trailblazer, you can clear, like... Depending on their health bars, you can clear like three minions. It's weird to get used to, but Lee yeah. Sen's at the point now, if you're not going to do all the nitpicky things, he's not good. Yep. You don't have to do crazy insect, but you got a nitpick. But that, that flash kick was really good on his part. Yeah, no. That's one of my favorite things to do with Lee Sen. I did that in a ranked game the one time. And my mid laner was in Italy. And I kicked like, I can't even remember who it was. I think it was a... I had like a, a Cassiopeia or some point or something like that. I like laid at the Q and then you get the slow and then you kick while you flash. Oh, that's a good trade from Cass right there. The bomb took a lot of health, but. Cassius should be a uh, trade Victor. Victor Sorry, only is two. On. I mean, not Victor. Zillion. Zillion. Oh, it's gone on here. Stalker. Stalker's gonna. Terry. Walks right back into Terry and gets killed. Six. This is poor map awareness on Cassiopeia's Coddles. part. Well, Victor started roaming down from the top side, so... Cassia should have just gone bot, though. She would have gotten terror. I just look on the Thresh, but... Oh... Thresh here in a... Okay, Thresh here in a DC spot, never mind. See Flash. Flash is right in a laser. Side runs is gonna go down one hit. Yep. And Tarek... Tarek wins the duel against Lisa, and then makes it out alive. Cassius should just flash and kill him there. He could flash. He still has flash all at this point. He could. If, yeah. If he gets too close. Now he's waiting too long. No. Yeah. He got hit by the laser. He. You have to be decisive. Just one Q from. One Q from Spork is gonna kill Frown there. When you're playing Zillion, you gotta go tier and do things. You can't go Death Cup second. You need or, CDR. Or at least Morellos. Yeah, yeah. That things are Morellos. Athenes just I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Athenes anymore after the last set of Against Morello's Cassio on Zillion. It's a little more mana than Morello's and Zillion kinda needs it. True. Oh Dark Long. Oh but they miss they miss everything. That's a really good job. He needs to back off. Nice flash ult from Cassiopeia, but the double bomb comes through for Zillion picking up the kill. But ult's gonna come in. Passive kicks. It's one hit. He's not gonna. Zillion uh -huh. did not. Oh, is he gonna die to poison? No. Most dangerous game and sustain there. And I don't think. What's he maxing in Cass? Probably Q. No, E. I like Q e. max. I like, um. I, I don't like Q actually, like, I think Q's just, I put one point in Q just to get the poison sacks, 
But I feel like my my damage is higher when I go when I go E. I think if you're looking to all in or elongated trades, E's better. If you wanna like stomp land, keys better. Yeah. If you're confident, you can land them. But I think you should be confident that you're landing a skill if you pick a champion. Mm -hmm. All right, 80 thresh. Like they have 80 thresh, Lisa. I don't think this is gonna be a long game. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Yeah. Well, it's 17 minutes in and he doesn't have an eye edge finished. But the Moomoo Girl matches. It's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, Trouble is, mages. And he's gonna build the injuries next. He's gonna get a blue buff here. Bomb. Yep. No, Cassiopeia got it. Or did was it Zillion or was it Cass? Cassiopeia got it. Yeah. I couldn't tell. Like I looked at that and I don't know. Please upgrade your boots and support. Tarek should have Mobies. Tarek should have Mobies. John doesn't have boots. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Four sweepers. Wow. That Roche. team is going I mean, ham on sweepers. I just said Roche. Oh my god. Baron! <laughs> He's coming up in two minutes. We're getting to that point of the game. Oh my god. I just, uh, I just need to stop playing Dota. <laughs> Alright, when you're playing Tarek, you need to max W, not E. Oh, is he maxing? Um, Stun. Not that. <laughs> Yep, yeah, max W. It's really strong. The armor passive and the damage. What's going on over there? <laughs> I, I hear a lot of background noise. Oh, here? Yeah, sorry, I had to open my desk up. Oh, okay, I'm like... What? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Let's see, look at what people are maxing. John on Emax W second, not Q. Whoa. He's a 1.1 wonder. Yeah. Just looking at skills. See if I'm going to too long. Dazzle's a 1.1 wonder as well in this game. Teleport coming in. It's kind of a good TP. One more hit. And that's. That's the Cassiopeia damage right there. Although I do not agree with the build. No, neither do I. I don't like it. One hit, zillion ulti. I think she should have marks this game if she wanted to two boots. They have double AP, AP jungler, and Tarek stun. Cassie, mm -hmm. you're gonna get the damage out. You might as well stay alive and get more out. Yeah. This is about a, as good a game to build marks as any. Thresh it, like, this is why you build, That's why you build boots on a support. So you don't walk around really slow and get killed. Mm-hmm. Save your flash. There are three people at half health. And Kog'Maw's at three quarters. When you check a bush like that, Jana, if it's dragon and you think dragon's being contested, if your Q's up, you, there's no excuse to not Q first before you check, instead mm -hmm. of face checking. Use your abilities to check yeah. bushes. That's gonna get caught. Nope. They're really low. They are low. Oh, sideburns. And he's got a whip the Amumu ulti here. If he even does it. Never mind, stalkers. stalkers are here. This is a good. That's a great monsoon. Save Kogma and it disengaged the fight. He's dead. The Amumu is dead too, though. AD Thresh isn't doing it for me. Yeah, he really hasn't had an impact this game. I'm not, well, I'm not a huge fan of AD Thresh in general. I don't think many people are. Please don't ever, Zillion, don't go tier death cap. Like I said, CDR item, but on any champion? Never go tier death cap. Tier death cap, yeah. Okay, he built a Rylize out of that blasting one. I thought he was going to finish Seraphs. Yeah, I did as well. That's not as bad. That's not bad. I'd prefer the giant's belt because your base damages are high enough. I don't think you like, had enough gold. Yeah. You got blasting rod and two pots. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna assume if he had the gold for belt, he would have gotten blasting rod, two pots, and a ward or belt. But it's me. Yeah, but it's all, it was also a long time since he went back last, so you never know what yeah. he bought at that time. He had um, he, he went had rod. A blasting one forever. He went rod. Next back he got sorks, and next back he got rallies. Okay, that makes sense. I think Belt would have been better than Rod or Storks, but if he but ever had Belt's less than a thousand. Than if he ever had less than a thousand, though, I, I don't know. I would have had to see. I am. I can go back and check it after this, because he might have bought like a couple wards in a pot, or a couple pots in a ward with it. Mm -hmm. Turk's got Moby, so it's good. That's good. <laughs> Against the team he's playing, he should look to get. Um, Mikhail's. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> Cassio Thresh. There's some CC. This Thresh. I. I don't know. I think, like, everyone on their team should have Merc Treads, though. Merc Treads in the locket. <laughs> yeah. I think well, Dash not everybody should have a locket. Oh, this is the ulti. Here comes the Moo Moo. Nice bandage shot. Plans in. Goes right to the back line, Kogma and Johnny to destroy. The guys are gonna get destroyed next. But this Sush is move. just like AFK. He's just is he AFK farming right now? Yeah, he isn't TP really. If you take I top, I haven't seen him TP to any other lane yet. So if you go top with TP and you're not willing to use it, like go take ignite and go ham early. I think TP is better, but you really need to be conscious of it. Play somebody who's actually yeah. relevant with this team that you have because you need a tank or at least a, an off tank. Looking for off tank, John. Please wear boots. But yeah, or mm -hmm. not thinking about it, double tank would have been good for Leeson Thresh. I would have gone. The joke. I, I've been telling people to buy them all game. I can't. What are the boots? The MR. I'm having a lapse. What's that? What are the boots? Oh, Mercs. I would have gone Mercs on a Mumu and yeah, on a Mumu. <laughs> Mercs on everybody in this game. It seems like. Oh, I don't sport. think. That's sport. I don't think 20 minute Sorks do a lot for you. They really don't. And they have Cassio, Kogwanjana, Thresh. <laughs> Swark. I found their team. He did find their team. Brilliant ulti. He barriered before he died. I was. I was a fan of it. I see the new ulti though, but it's not gonna be enough. So, where Spork got killed, when your team establishes vision somewhere, you wanna play to that vision. Spork was playing on the opposite side of River as, um,. His team's wards and the other team's red jungle. Mm -hmm. He should have been playing on uh, favoring red jungle side, where he'd have vision of them coming from anywhere. And if they do come from the other side, he can kind of like run all the way to his blue buff or something. Mm -hmm. If he, if you're gonna, if your team's gonna spend the money in wards, if you're gonna spend money in wards, play to the wards. And who left? Uh, Matt ADC, I think. Oh, Silly. Zillion relies and lives and dies on the CDR because of his W. You need it in your build. Amumu. 20. Um, I just noticed Amumu bought three wards. Amumu is one of those champions that you can get away with in the jungle. Um, that you can get away with with a sight stone. Instead of stocking up wards. Yeah, um, at that point you should just buy a stone. Yeah, double stones. And double stones really not that bad. Or, like, um, if you're gonna invest in vision, you there are a lot of ways to invest in vision, and buying three wards is one way. But if your team is winning, and you don't have an upgraded sweeper yet, it's it might just upgraded be better to upgrade sweeper. Uh, John, um, supports and junglers should buy upgrade, upgraded sweepers at some point before like 30 minutes. Maybe even before that. 
If it's a close game, you can wait. If you're winning hard or losing hard, you need to do it. Because you need to establish vision and clear vision, or you need to um, clear vision and reestablish vision when you're losing. So you don't get like picked out in jungle. Mm, Cassie's got Seraph. Oh, he went straight into... He had 750. So it wasn't yeah, the he went ba basically straight into Seraphs from Archangels. Mm. So that's that's actually an ideal situation you want to be in when you have a tier is go straight from from the tier into the Seraphs or fairly close to it because Archangels really isn't that like the base values of Archangels really isn't. Too good. All right, Tarek, you have four Sightstone charges, a pink ward. And uh, sweeper, and you are helping Caitlyn farm. I went over this in last game, but I, I just see those. it way too much, man. <laughs> Dude, you gotta get those uh, relic shield charges off. <laughs> he's he's giving her words of encouragement so she doesn't miss CFs. <laughs> you got this one. You can do it, friend. You got <laughs> being a, being a true support. I believe in you. That was a good one. You, you hit that CS. Oh, I was following Crown for like the longest time because I didn't realize that I turned direct the camera off. <laughs> Oops. His, his mind's telling him no, but his body's telling him yes. Meanwhile, Dragon. Blue team's just... Blue team's just been slow to Dragons. Mm -hmm. And slow to everything in general. Yeah, with Dragon, if you're losing, you know that you might not be able to get control of Dragon. But often it's a pretty normal thing in ranked games for a team to be like, Dragon's up in 90 or 60. And then everyone kind of recall and get ready for Dragon. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the losing team, think one to two minutes before Dragon might be your time to reestablish Vision. Because they're probably recalling and setting up for it. Yep. And that requires you to set up like three minutes in advance, but it's, it's way safer than running into like five people. Uh huh. And if you don't have vision, the, the, if you don't have vision and you're losing, dragon's probably gone. Yeah. Well, an so ideal situation, you want to back, back two and a half minutes early. Get your top laner who has teleport, most likely, since everybody runs teleport out of the top lane of this, in this day I, and age. I run ignite. I'm the first blood king. Wow. Well. <laughs> no, TP's okay, if you're running night, what is Thresh, where are you going? Thresh, where are you going? Oh. You're not saving that turret. You are yeah, not going to save that Victor, you mana kill him. Victor, Scorched his mana right there and just blow theme, up his face. Theme for the night. Punish mistakes. Thresh should have died for his sins. He should have died for his... <laughs> <laughs> well, he should have died at that point anyways, so... Alright, so, like, uh, when you take Dragon, and you probably can't Siege because they have, like, just some weird stuff to wave clear, you need to think about, like, what transition you need to make. And they have a lot of CC, so they're kind of running a pit comp with Terror. And bot lane was just pushed out really hard. Um, oh, sideburns. Yeah, rotating Baron was probably a much smarter play than what they just did. <laughs> but, it's one for one. Two for one. Two for one. Bot lane was just pushed really hard. They had a really aggressive plan, Baron. They should be able to get this inhibitor turret at least. Boggles can wait to clear this. Or they have Kate. Really Their siege is good with Kate. Mm -hmm. Especially when Tarek plays on the turret. And just if you're playing damage. Lee Sin, even if you're an elementary Lee Sin player, like, and you can't ward hop that well or anything yet, if your flash is up, you need to be looking to engage. You need to key something and just flash behind the AD carrier mid. It's not that hard. Yeah, I know his um his mic is louder than mine. I'm trying to like my settings are off or something like that because. Uh yeah, I'm really far away from my mic. I know. It's like Sorry. Skype is like Skype makes people unnecessarily loud compared to the original the other person. Oh, Inseku! He's gonna live here, but... He's gonna die in this fight. Caitlyn 
gets the heal coming out. Cyburn comes in from the side, picks the kill. Goggles. Goggles is gonna get stunned up here. And some minions. Hook misses. Oh. Uh, oops. Is that a uh, is that a Mumu supposed to go over the wall? I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out if he tried to oh thrash with the double kill okay. Two Still things not worth it. <laughs> that stood out for me there. One, if you're playing Lee and flashes up, like just flash into a better ult. His ult is really awkward, and he took a lot of damage. Yeah, he like flashed, or he didn't even flash. He, well, he just said that he didn't flash. Two, thrash when they're up near like the top tri bush. He hooked a bush to look for people because he didn't have vision. He had a ward. Zanya's. The troll Zanya's right there. He had a ward in his pack. If you have a ward in your pack, use it during a team fight for vision. But warding for vision in bushes in team fights is kind of an acquired skill, and good supports are really good at it. Badger, are you really excited for any of the 13 you emailed for the journey to 30? I didn't email anybody for journey to. I didn't email anybody for journey to 30, so. I don't even know who's like in the considerations for it. I'm only F3, so I was surprised I didn't hear. I don't even know what the application is. process was for it. I've been just. Mm -hmm. I've been doing. I've been applying for other things. So. I didn't. I I saw it briefly, but I didn't know. Scuttle Crab is nice. Fifteen magic. Explain how to get to Battle Arena. Um, Battle Arena, the way we do it, since there's a lull in the action at this point. Dragon is not going to be up. Or er, Dragon's going to be up in thirty seconds. So I will wait until after this dragon fight to tell you guys. E flash. No, you don't. Move is going hand. Never mind. He has not enough mana for all. Mm -hmm. He needs 150, he's got 100. So Amumu didn't have enough mana for all. He is going to clear frog with dragon up in 30 seconds. If you don't have enough mana for ult, clearing a jungle camp and losing more mana might not be the best idea. Especially since you're not going to be there for dragon now. You should have just recalled immediately. Right. The Steve's starting it, but he's back at base. And Terex's on the top side of the map. This is theoretically a 3v5 if they want to fight for it. But yeah, Lisa my team still it. manages to get it. At least it missed his water over the wall. <laughs> no, Poor he, guy. Uh, he just didn't have W up. Oh, okay. Cool. Since uh, W cooldown. Oh, uh, somebody else's ward. I got it. No, even his wards. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. I should have saved that ulti. Things are looking better for this team. Oh, he. <laughs> G.I. Cho just saved. Just saved Matt right there. Caleb's in the back of the fight being safe and auto. Man. Oh, Kogma, you're too deep, buddy. Too deep. Too deep. So, same thing as last game. Neither support exhausted in that fight. You really need to pay attention when you take that summer spell. Like, Thresh didn't box either. Unless that just came up. What? Um, Thresh didn't box in that fight. Oh, uh, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's just, a little bit of zone that you could have had for your Kogma if. Mm -hmm. If Thresh and Kogma are staying together. Yeah, John didn't make kills as well. Not using actives is, eh, you don't buy actives all the time, so on and so forth. Yeah. You've had summoner spells for a long time. Mm -hmm. I would make a note, like, and put it on your, like, desktop or something. Because it seems to be a pretty ongoing issue for both of these games. Especially with Exhaust. Exhaust is still a strong late game, too. Yeah. That's what you take it for. But yeah, as 
Sif was saying, Gambit, you we will post a game or a game name and password whenever we um do it. We usually do it on Tuesdays in the evenings. But tonight we started at 7.30, meet in the in-game chat channel T-Force, and we will post a game name and a password in there, and from that point we will just, people will just join the game, and we try to avoid repeat offenders, but if we don't have people that would join, like if it doesn't fill up right away, we'll just call people that played in the last game to come in. Right, Kogma, do not build Nash's tooth on 80k, Kogma. Oh my gosh, he's building Nash. <laughs> oh, and he gets caught here. That's a flash on QSS would have been a good item here. Anything but Nash's tooth. Anything but Nash's. QSS is just a, such a strong item right now. Jonna could have ulted them from where she was. No. Yeah, he could have. But. Alright. John is not a frontline champion. You need to not uh, do what you just did. Yeah. Okay. Kill and picks up the kill. I don't know if we are doing another game after this. I'm fine for another one. I'm fine for another one. If people join, if people take like 10 minutes to join, yeah. maybe not. What time is it? Probably like 9.30. We'll do another. I can do another one. Yeah, okay. Because I wanted to play at some point with people. But I can play later on. Mm. I'm, I'm finishing. Done for, I'm done for a third game. Finishing a wonderful skill capped article. Oh, you're writing a skill capped article? It's going to get edited to say Escape Evo Hell 20 times. Uh, the, escape the Evo Hell 20 times. <laughs> the articles are okay, but the, the tone that they use is pretty bad. Yeah, they, um... I don't I like really haven't read a skill capped article ever. You can go to the site and get the gist of it. It's pretty. Oh, that first card right at the end. <laughs> that was that was completely unnecessary to play Thresh as a AD top laner. But yeah, please, please, please don't do that. It was cool. For I like the I last don't want to harp seconds. on you and like be a dick man, but um, people are playing Battle Arena to improve and get better. And if you're in like an AD Thresh top only player, then I'm I'm sorry and I'm, I'm completely I wrong. I can't in, coach that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry and I'm completely wrong in saying this. And for all purpose, continue to play AD Thresh. But um, people play better, you know, to improve and get better. And not having like an optimal five v five scenario isn't the best for you or your team or the other.